discussed that an economic system is the means by which a country allocates the scarce resources in the various economic and trade related activities. Now in this video, let us consider the first type of economic system, that is the market economy or the capitalist economy system. Well, in a market economy, all the decisions related to the allocation of resources and economic activities are controlled by the capitalists or the private entrepreneurs. That is, the production process is wholly organized and governed by the capitalists for the profit mode with no government intervention. And that is why the market economy is also called a laissez fair or a free market economy. Moreover, in such an economy, the role of government is limited to the area of defense and maintaining law and order in the society. And apart from these, all other decisions are taken by the capitalists. Countries like Hong Kong, Singapore and United States are all examples of a market economy system. Now, based on our discussion so far, let me tell you some interesting features of a market economy system. Well, the first point is that the production process in a market economy system is organized, managed and controlled by the capitalists. That is, it is the capitalists who hire the factors of production such as land, labor and capital to undertake the production process. Second, the sole motive of the capitalists is to earn higher profits. Third, the role of government in a market economy is limited to defense and maintaining law and order. Moreover, there is no government intervention in the economic activities. Fourth, there exists a high degree of competition among the capitalists for earning higher profits. And fifth, in a market economy, the central problems, that is, what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce, is solved by price mechanism. Now, let me elaborate this feature a little more. Well, in a market economy, the price for a good or a service is determined by the demand and supply forces. And based on this price, the capitalist take decisions relating to what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. Now, let us discuss how these three central problems are solved in a market economy system. Well, starting with the first problem of what to produce. This problem is solved by producing those goods for which the demand is high. This is because high demand means high prices, and high prices means higher profits for the capitalists. Now, the second problem of how to produce is solved by employing those techniques of production which minimizes the production cost. This is because lower cost implies higher profits for the capitalists. And finally, the problem of for whom to produce is solved by producing for those people who have the capacity to pay. This is because the one who can pay the price is the one who adds to the profit. Now, this is all about a market economy system. In the next video, we'll talk more about the centrally planned economy and its features. Until then, stay tuned.